Hello everybody, what is up? My name is Killsteam. I am back with another new Black Ops 4 video for you guys today. And in today's video, we're going to be doing 5 tips and tricks, great starting tips and tricks for the Black Ops 4 main multiplayer. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, if you guys remember, I made two Blackout videos during the beta of like tips and tricks. The first one was like actual tips and tricks, and they're pretty good tips and tricks, not going to lie. So go check that out. Also, the other one was best spots to land, like secret spots, and that was pretty good also. None of that has really changed at the moment, but um, I will be doing another Blackout best starting tips and tricks for Black Ops 4 later today, or maybe tomorrow. Probably today, but stay tuned for that in the near future. Okay, so for the first tip, it's going to be on sensitivity inside of multiplayer. So, sensitivity is a pretty big topic at times, and usually people who are good have like way higher sensitivities and stuff, and I see my friends that have like 8 sensitivity, 4, 10 or something like that, and I'm like, man, how can you play on such a low sensitivity like that? And the main thing about it is like to increase your sensitivity over time because when you increase your sensitivity in multiplayer you just get better and better you can turn on people faster you can react to things much fast faster get out of firefights much fa much faster and it's overall a pretty good thing to master in black ops 4 so that is why getting the highest sensitivity possible inside a multiplayer is going to be best now if you're not used to the highest sensitivity and maybe right now you're only on eight I don't recommend going right up to level 14 sensitivity. I would say maybe every couple of games or so, put it up three notches. And then after like four or five games like that, put it up another three notches until you get to sensitivity insane 14. For those of you who actually play at 14 or the highest in Black Ops 4, you actually know what I'm talking about. For everybody else who doesn't have it at 14, you really have to try this out because it's a really, really big game changer. And I don't see a lot of people taking use of this because it's a really, really big game changer inside of the Black Ops 4 multiplayer. Next is ranking up in Black Ops 4. Now overall, I think it's pretty easy to rank up in Black Ops 4. All you have to do is really just play the Black Ops 4 game. But here is a, a couple of tips and kind of like tricks to level up just a bit faster. So the first one is branch out with your weapons. So don't use the same weapon over and over again for like the 15 matches straight because if you keep using that yeah you level it up yeah you get xp but as you go on and on with that same weapon it takes longer to level it up and it takes longer to get that xp when you get new attachments or new challenges done with it so branch out use other weapons and overall all the weapons in black ops 4 are all really balanced at this point right now i think smgs could have a tiny bit of a nerf in the near future but overall the weapons in black ops 4 are pretty damn balanced at this point so you won't have a problem using any other weapons and I would suggest trying the DMR it's like the AUG or the auger they're all pretty good like the ABR I call the AUG but they're all pretty good they're usually different guns and you have to like use it and have a little bit more skill to use it with but overall once you get done like mastering it you can get pretty good at it and it's really fun to like burst shot people and all so I suggest trying those weapons out just a tiny bit next is playing control man in control the game mode in black ops 4 you get a shit ton of points every time I played that mode I leveled up like three or four times per round because usually the game goes on a little bit longer but even if it doesn't go on longer each time you win you get a ton a ton of bonus points while playing this mode so this is a crucial mode to play if you haven't played it already I suggest going and play it overall it's a fun mode it's nice competitive mode to have it with a couple of friends also it's a really good mode to level up in okay next we're gonna talk about the mini map in black ops 4 the mini map is very crucial and there is a lot of stuff going on with this mini map in black ops 4 so it's something called the fog of war you have like a cone shaped view now instead of the full circle around in the beta but this cone shaped um view it's pretty cool because when you see somebody in that cone shaped view it pops up on your mini map and it pops up for everybody else on your team which is really really awesome also, the mini-map has something very cool about it. I'm not sure if a lot of you guys know, 
but um, it's in Blackout, it's in Blackout's 4 multiplayer, and it's the people, it's a little red blimps on the mini-map. So here's a picture on your screen right now, and as you see, the ones that are faded out, like the ones that are, the circles that are faded out a little bit more, they're darker red, that's the ones that are not on the level as you are. They may be below you or on top of you, but the ones that are full red, they're full bright red, that means they are on the same level as you, and they have the same playing field, the same ground as you, but anybody else who has a fader color red, they're going to be above you or maybe even below you. Moving on to the fourth tip slash trick and it is how to equip your signature weapon and I've seen a lot of people frustrating on how to equip your signature weapons in Black Ops 4. If you didn't know, I believe there's only two signature weapons at the moment and they're both pre-order bonuses. One is from GameStop and the other is just from getting the Pro Edition at GameStop or getting the Digital Edition and that's the MX-9 signature weapon or the, uh, the what's it called, the Divine Justice or the, I don't know, Divinity Pistol, I don't know what, for what pistol it's called but it's the pistol one. And these weapons, I was trying the longest time to how to equip. I was like, how do you do this? How do you equip the weapons instead of using the base weapon all the time? I got these weapons. How do I use them? So here it is right now. Look on your screen and just follow what I do. All you have to do is go to the create a class menu where you see all the weapons there and go to the weapon that you want to get your signature weapon for. Hover over it. And all you have to do is hit up on the D-pad. And right there, once you do that, that little arrow is going to go up and you'll go to your um, signature weapon right there. So all you have to do now is hit X to equip it, and boom, you're done. It's that easy. It was so frustrating to do something that easy for the longest time for me. So hopefully you guys didn't have to go through the same thing I did. Okay, so the final tip slash trick is customizing your characters, your specialists inside of multiplayer. Now this may sound stupid to some of you, but trust me, a lot of people out there have no clue on how to customize your specialists because of this confusing UI system inside of multiplayer. So the way you do it is on your screen right now. So just basically follow what I do. All you have to go is hit the options button on your controller, go to personalization, and you see all your characters. And then from there, you can customize your outfits. There's free customization items there and stuff. You can customize your jesters, your spray paint and stuff, and they're all pretty cool. And it's all right there. And I've seen so many people struggling on how to change their outfits, change your jesters, change your uh, spray paints, and etc. But there you guys go. Those were five great starting tips and tricks for the Black Ops 4 main multiplayer. And I hope you guys use these to your advantage because they will help you out tremendously in the real game, guys. Don't worry. Believe me, they will help you out so much. So, as you guys see, the end of the round just came and we got whooped in the first round. Now, we completely changed the game around in the second half. And I'm going to be showing you guys the full change around of this entire game. It's pretty crazy in my next video. I'll see you guys there. The like button down below, comment and subscribe. Peace out everybody.